These are rice rolls and they're wrapped in seaweed. And today I'm going to put some seaweed under the microscope and here we already see the first picture. Hello and welcome Microbe Hunter here. And today no microbe hunting, but rather I'd like to show you some plant cells because after all seaweed, they are plants and they belong to the red algae. I bought the seaweed in a shop that sells Asian food because in many countries in Asia, this uh, seaweed is a very important part of everyday food. Of course, um, I also tried to make uh, those rice rolls with limited success. And I have to admit that my microscopy abilities are probably better than my cooking abilities. It doesn't matter. Uh, the seaweed does look quite nice under the microscope and it is also a very easy specimen to observe. The reason is, is that the seaweed is very thin and this also makes focusing quite uh, easy. Now, um, the thing is the following, if you look very careful, then you're going to see that the individual cells are separated by a quite a thick cell wall. And I think uh, for this reason, it's also a good uh, specimen to demonstrate on how plant cells look like. Now, the problem is, is that the seaweed was already dry and therefore maybe hmm, some of the structures um, yeah, are not quite the way that they should be. Uh, they it's red algae, so they belong to those two genera, which I am actually not even daring to pronounce. <laughs> but in any case, uh, if you want to observe them under the microscope, I highly recommend that you first uh, put it into a little bit of water uh, because this allows the individual layers to separate and then you get a thinner specimen, which makes it easier, which makes the observation easier. Now this only takes a, a, a few seconds and then the seaweed will absorb um, the water and then you get uh, nice pictures like this. Now the seaweed is a very healthy food. It contains many minerals, it contains vitamins, uh, iodine, iron, um, and uh, I think uh, that uh, indeed uh, if uh, more people were to eat it, maybe we'd all be healthier. I don't know about that. What I've tried as well is, is I tried to do a little bit of research on how it is grown and I discovered this uh, picture, um, which is a satellite image which, ac which actually shows in the ocean is checkerboard a pattern. And this is the place where the seaweed is grown. Um, so you see the amount that is actually um, cultivated is quite large. Um, yeah, so it is a very popular food and uh, there are different uh, species uh, of different type of seaweed and yeah, they're used for different uh, purposes. Uh, what I have done now is I added a little bit of uh, so-called methylene blue to the seaweed and I could immediately see that the side of the algae, they immediately absorb uh, the methylene blue stain and uh, accumulate it. And it's quite an interesting phenomena that I've seen already several times that the methylene blue seems to like to react a lot with the cells, even if uh, it was already dry. Um, and uh, therefore you can actually increase the contrast um, of the specimen. And of course, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to do a little bit of advertisement for myself right now. Um, if you go into the uh, description below, you're going to find a lot of links. And I would also like to use this opportunity now to advertise my podcast. Um, where I also answer a range of microscopy related questions. I think for today it's enough. Um, yeah, happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.